Hello guys, welcome to All About Fire Protection and it's nice to see you again. I uploaded my first video just yesterday but because of one of my viewer requested me to do a tutorial for input and output matrix for fire alarm, I decided to do it quick so I could help him at least in his design. Okay, so let's start. Objective Our objectives for this video are For us to know the importance of having input and output matrix in designing of fire alarm Second one for us to be able to learn the proper use of fire alarm single line diagram as reference for input and output matrix construction Last for us to learn the procedures in construction of input and output matrix so what is input and output matrix? Well, it is a method used in fire alarm for designers, programmer to show their intended sequence of operation for the complete fire alarm system. So basically, once the input and output matrix is done, it can be used at the same time for programming of the fire alarm control panel. It is required by any PA? Absolutely yes. It is required by NEPA 72 as one of the documentation to be submitted along with the plans, calculations, and many. This is why the input and output matrix is always submitted for approval with the consultant. What is the use of input and output matrix? It is used to illustrate the complete sequence of operation of a power alarm. And like what I had said earlier, it is used as a document and to be approved by consultant for programming. Here is the figure shown in the annexure of NEPE 72 as a sample of input and output matrix. And this is the sample of input and output matrix template which I did for this tutorial. You can use it as your reference for making your own input and output matrix in the future. I designed this template I think almost 12 years ago when I worked outside my country. But if you will look at it, it is the same pattern with the figure shown earlier in NP72. I manage habit approved with many consultants so I started using this in any of my project. So let's discuss the structure of the template. The template is divided in three sections. The sections are Input All initiating devices such as MOOC, HIT, manual pull station, flow switch, pressure switch, etc. will be in this section. Second one, Output section All notification devices like horn, horn strobe, bell, and other fire safety control like AHU shutdown, release magnetic door, holder, Operate motorist fire smoke damper, etc. will be in this section. And the last one is the action section. This is the section where you will mark the required events for a particular change in state of inputs. In input section, it is divided in four subsection. First one is the loop number. Second one is the floor. Third one is the location. Port one is the device type. In output section, it is divided in four subsection. First, annunciation. Second, notification. Third, interlock. And fourth, supplementary. In action section, you just need to mark with X the required event as per the sequence of operation. Let us now proceed with the procedure. First one, you should prepare the fire alarm single line diagram. Make sure that it is already coordinated and matched with the plan drawings. 
Second one, gather all the required information to be used in filling up the inputs and output section such as the number of floor, the list of input device type, list of notification device type, list other required fire safety control, and list other supplementary requirement. The third one is apply the gathered information from test from step two to the templates input and output section. Fourth step in procedure. Now mark the required event in the action section as per the sequence of operation. The last step. Double check that the input and output matrix match the sequence of operation. Once above all procedures are carefully followed, you are done and ready to make your own.
once again, thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated of our latest videos. Good luck and stay safe. Thank you.